hello viewers welcome back in this video we'll discuss how to add a hmi device to existing project for visualization the process system in this project i have used cpu 1516f that cpu has a two profinet subnet and one profibus dp so we can take HMI device with Profinet connectivity or DP connectivity. To add the HMI, go to add new device from here. It will open a new pop-up window. With this pop-up window, we can add controller, new controller or PC system or HMI system. PC system also for visualization. Today we will take the HMI device, HMI panel. From here, we can see there are four variant. Siemens release until now all variant of HMI we can find here, which is supported by this CPU. Okay, we will not talk all about this panel, computer mobile, but we can tell that there are three types of panel in basic computer mobile that are kp panel kp means key panel that panel or that hmi can be operated by only keypad there are some key button by those button we can operate the hmi second panel type is ktp panel ktp means key and touch panel so that panel can be operated by key or touch and third one is tp panel tp means touch panel that panel only operate by touch so today i will take basic panel basic hmi panel so in this variant we can take 3 to 15 inch hmi today we will take 7 inch display in 7 inch display has two variant one is portrait another is landscape if you click here you can see this is a landscape view and if you click here you can see this is a portrait view okay today i will take the landscape view this one this one is popibus dp connectivity and this one has a popinet connectivity okay i will take this popnet connectivity hmi there is one option is the start device wizard that option if you select and click the ok button then it will make some subsequent pop-up window by this window you can connect with your hmi it will also make some template and alarm window but i will not take this option now I am click the OK button. It will make a empty skin and here our HMI is KTP. That means this panel can be operated by trust by trusting this window or can be used this button. OK. Now this HMI is not configured. To configure this HMI go to device configuration here it will show the device and click the network view see this there are two device in this project one is plc another is hmi and this hmi is not connect with the plc to make the hardware connection you can make this connection with this plc by two way you can connect this hmi network in popinet 1 network or popinet 2 network and you can do this by 2 way select this hmi and go to properties then you can see here there are two subnet of plc here you can select pn1 or pn2 now go to here see it is connected and now i am showing second option here select the not network here here you can 
just drag and drop one of this network subnet i am dragging it to subnet 1 okay it is now connected now this is a physical connectivity of your plc and hmi now you have to make a logical connection with this hmi to plc to do this connection go to hmi connection here double click this it will open a window here now click the add new it will make a connection this connection is a logical connection between two partner one partner is hmi another partner is plc so from here it you can give the unique name here if you make a second connection you cannot make the same name here so connection name should be unique so here the communication driver driver should be your plc plc series if your plc is h7 1500 you have to give 1500 or 300 like this or if you connect this hmi with plc with modbus then you have to select modicon modbus or mitsubishi like this so here our plc is S7 1500 series. Okay. Okay. This is the all configuration of HMI in the existing project. Thank you. Thank you for watching.